Hello and welcome back, fellow baseball card enthusiasts. Hey, you're here. I'm here, so it's time to rip, right? Let's do some uh, Sapphire. I picked up some more of this uh, in the Tops public sale. I've already done one box of this from the Montgomery Club. I, I picked up four more, so I'm going to go through them. I'm taking my time with these ones, though, as well. I'm going to just do one box at a time. My inclination is I just want to set them all down, go through them, and figure out what's in all of them. But then it's it's over. So I've kind of been going with the buffet experience. But now I'm trying to do a little bit of a pace and, and take my time and uh, uh, do it on separate days just, just so that we can get some fun so the rip isn't over. So I don't know. You guys like that? Do you like to rip everything at once, just have a stack of cards, go through it all? Or do you like, you know, to, to kind of take your time and, and space it out over a couple of days? And... Uh, uh, so, you, so you have something always to rip because that's the downside if you go through it all it could be a while before you get to go through and uh, rip some cards again so hopefully on this one uh, with sapphire and I've said this before I'm a sapphire junkie um, hopefully we'll just we'll see some something I haven't seen before supposed to get two parallels out of here uh, I was looking there are autographs but they they're tough I'm not expecting to pick up any any autographs in here so that would be a super nice bonus if it did maybe some other than the color parallels the sapphire itself there's a nice little rookie of Nolan Jones is hey back-to-back -back rookies with James Outman sapphire is beautiful and here we go asking for something to get something different haven't seen before the sapphire selections I have not pulled one of these before so if this first pack is producing already. And then a Dion George prospect card. So how about that? Fantastic. I, I haven't pulled one of these. Um, in fact, in, I've ripped a lot of Sapphire. I've pulled some autos from time to time. You obviously get the parallels and that that you pick up. But I haven't gotten a lot of these smaller. I don't, I don't think this is a case hit, but um, Brooks Lee... Sapphire selections. That's that's definitely up there, and putting it on the uh, putting up on the board, up on the stage, heavy. So I'm already already happy with this box. I think that's one of the best things you can ask for is just see something new, see something different. So we got an Alonzo, a Hoskins, He's Young, and a Prada. So a couple of vets and a couple of prospects in here. I'm not 100% sure if that counts as one of your colored parallels. So we'll see if we get one or one or two of those in here. So we got a Guerrero, a Taj. And here's our first Bowman first in Duno. And back to back with uh, Shim. So not as up on my prospecting. Although Bowman draft should be pre-ordered probably too much of that I don't know it's weird to be chasing a, a Tom Brady card in there but that's what the chase is okay here's our first it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an orange which I think of the set is out of 75 so I'm hoping for either a nice rookie or a good first Bowman <laughs> and it is Josh Young out of 75 Bowman Sapphire followed by a uh, gallon this is named First Bowman. So a nice rookie card. I I am personally you have to let me know what you think. I personally wish Bowman was just prospects. Cut out the vets. Even cut out the rookies. Um, leave it at just the prospecting sets. You know, use the other sets for vets and rookies. But at the same time, I'm not gonna complain about an orange young out of 75 in sapphire so very nice so we still see if, is that does that, that clear our parallels or are we going to get one more there's a, another first in camillo diaz and uh, valdez for the cubbies another first three more packs to go all right freeman joey and the first in Solano, 
Nice Jordan Lawler. I think he was on the World Series roster, wasn't he? I think he won a bat or pinch run or something. I know I saw him in the playoffs. They called him up towards the end. So we're looking for his rookie card. So it looks like we are going to get another parallel. This is the Aqua coming up next. So the Sapphire Selections is bonus. And it's a first. Can't do better than that. Kiner, Delgado, the Aqua out of 99 in the first Bowman. There's a Dominguez and a Bergola. As I say, Bergola, some of these prospecting names get a little bit rough. But a Kiner Delgado. Don't know him, but a first Bowman and a Yankee in the parallel. That's a win. This has been, this was better than the other box if if you saw it. I mean, the first, first pack already had the whole other box kind of beat. Still three more boxes uh, to get through after this. Last pack in this box. So, and we're going to start off with a PC hit. MH2, Sapphire Rookie. The Bowman design isn't my favorite, but I'll take that for a PC hit with Correa, Acuna's younger brother. And wrapping it up with the Marcelo Mayer. Nice little prospect card in that in there. So just kind of to wrap it up, I, I mean, I'm going to show, I won't put him up on the board here. we got the MH2 rookie card for the PC. Um, Josh Young out of 75 and the Delgado the first out of 99 I think the star of the show is the Brooks Lee Sapphire Collections let me know what you think below hey I think that's worth a like and a subscribe and follow along but mostly even more importantly than that comment below share your hits with me tell me what you think was the best hit of this and then stay tuned if you're interested in the Sapphire we got a couple more boxes to go thanks everyone